I am obsessed with my wooden toolbox. I talked about it before. I love it so much that I actually have two of them. And one of the reasons why I love this box so much is this insanely clever hinge that it has. The thing is, it's not only a toolbox for storage, it is a box that opens to become a tool cabinet. And this functionality, storing and also displaying at the same time, to me is ingenious. And this hinge makes it possible. So the lid on the hinge lifts up and over the handle and turns into a cabinet. Now, I love this box so much that two is not enough. I kind of want my whole shop, hand tool, drill bit, chisel, whatever storage in a couple of these boxes that hang on the wall, open up to be cabinets. You can also close them. You can take them off the wall and bring them on location. The first step to this is figuring out how this hinge works. I have a gut feeling that it is possible to recreate it and I think it's even possible to make it much simpler because the tricky thing is the circle on it, right? To cut a perfect circle just with hand tools, it's so much work, but I don't think it's necessary. I think the circle is there so you don't pinch your fingers. But I'll, I'll take that risk to pinch my fingers if I can make that hinge in my workbench without a CNC machine, without figuring out much, right? So my first approach is always take a piece of gaff tape, try to figure out the dimensions, and most of all, try to get away with the minimal amount of precision. Because I wanna make 10 or so of these, right? So I need to figure out how sloppy can I be and still have this be a working mechanism. Let's go. And just like that, it works. I can almost not believe it. You saw me, right? I was being so sloppy and it still works. That being said, yes, 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 it's a 2D model, but I'm pretty confident we can transfer this to 3D and have it work as is. If this was only me, then the video would be done now. I figured it out. I would probably make a, a cardboard template, transfer it to all the boxes that I wanna build and be done with it. But we are in luck. My friend Gordo 
is parking at my shop right now. And he is a wizard when it comes to engineering. And also he has the ability to draw everything in CAD and just make it a real plan. So Gordo and I worked on it for a little bit and try to figure out how to make a template that makes it so much more easier to find the distance points and just build these things quicker and more reliable. I went to a copy shop, printed it out, and now it's time to see if this template works. What I will do in the second iteration, uh, the first time I used steel, I don't think it's necessary. I use steel because the original box uses steel. I will use aluminum now because it's much, much easier to keep the bit from wandering on aluminum. It's easier to work with. You can also use your woodworking tools with aluminum. It just makes it a lot more comfortable. So second version with a template, an aluminum material. And it works. What can I say? It just works. I learned a couple things. The template we used was just for one side and also I realized it's very hard to see through the paper so I put some oil on it to make it translucent but we made since then a second version of the template which you can see right here which has a left and a right version and it also has four cutouts for the bars so you don't have to reuse the template. And also the bars are now all the same length. That was different in the first version. So you don't have any risk of switching pieces up. It is all the same. Now, you can screenshot this, print it out on translucent paper and just make your own version. The box dimensions, I think, are not really that relevant as long as the cut line is in front of the handle so it can flip over. But I haven't experimented more with this than just these prototypes, so let me know what you learn. Also, if you're a Patreon supporter, there is the PDF from this template as a download version. Next week, I'm gonna use the new template 
and make a bunch of different boxes and figure out what's the best size for a toolbox and make a prototype for the actual box using the prototype for the hinge that we did this week. I hope you are into this as much as me and Gordo. We had a blast working together. Check him out on Instagram, Gordo from Earth, probably a link somewhere here. His school bus project is the coolest bus conversion or vehicle conversion I have ever seen. It is incredible. Every detail is genius. So check out his work. I hear my dog. Smudo! I think this hinge has so much potential. I'm thinking about a version where you have it as a hand luggage and it turns into a cabinet for when you're at the hotel. I'm definitely gonna build that for some future travel that's coming up, but I wanna hear from you. What would you use this hinge for? Let me know in the comments. And now let's hear it from this week's sponsor. This week's video is brought to you by Modern Makers and I'm actually pretty pumped to be on their guys' radar because it's essentially a group of makers who turned their passion for making things into a rewarding career as a professional manufacturer here in the United States. So let me explain. There's this institute called Manufacturing USA and as the name said, they are interested to keep manufacturing strong through innovation, education and collaboration. So they're constantly looking for people like us who are passionate about making stuff, interested in the creativity of the problem solving process and just generally nerdy about building anything, could be anything. So they have 18 institutes in the USA and every one of the modern makers works for or at these institutes. So they're looking for people who want to professionalize their interest in making things. And if that sounds like this is something for you, please go to manufacturingusa.com slash modern makers and see what they have to offer. They have pretty inspiring career path. For example, from Emily Molstad, who is now writing software to optimize the sorting of scrap metal in the recycling process. Or from Diana Mercado Gruber, who started her career in metal fabrication, but now is building 3D printed rockets. If any of this sounds interesting, please go to manufacturingusa.com slash modern makers and see if this is something that would work for you. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed figuring out how to recreate this super complicated hinge. And I'll see you next week with a new video.